Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah mentioned in the Quran that the khitam is the misk. The khitam is the misk. At the end, the sweetness and the nice smell comes. This is our very last case and the last camp that we're going to deal with today, inshallah. We were, gonna, we were thinking about going to a hospital for a burn victim, but we decided it's not enough time and the weather is really threatening now. This is Majid, 16-year-old brother who doesn't have any legs. He needs aesthetic legs, inshallah, and he needs a new wheelchair. This wheelchair is a bit flimsy, to be honest with you, and his mobility around the camp is really under threat. So he's kind of under siege in his own tent, in his own home. This is his father, Abu Majid, a man who comes from Syria, a place called Dair Zor, Dair Zor. The man is responsible for uh, 10 other people. So there are 11 people in this tent, 11. So we asking you guys, inshallah, to donate generously. I just want to take this time out real quick, being a father who had a child who had special needs, and I'm living in the UK, and it was difficult, but I want to see what he has to say. So Sheikh Adil Abul Hassan, can you ask brother Abu Majid with all of the responsibilities and all of the pressures that he has with all of his children. How is the pressure and how is the impact of Majid's situation specifically on him? بغض النظر عن العشرة الباقيين في شعورك تجاه ابنك اللي أنت شايفه عاجز الله سبحانه وتعالى كفر به والله هذا عطاء رب العالمين This is from God ما أزعل منه الله أعلم We are not going to be angry فرحان هنا And I'm happy because رب العالمين is giving me an exam لما أشوف الأولاد يلعبوا هو واقف لحاله When I see them all the children and the kids they are playing and he's seated in his chair I feel miserable condition uh, that's the answer of a person inshallah who has iman as Allah Ta'ala's Prophet mentioned sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Allah idha ahabba idha ahabba abdin ibtalahu so he realizes the qadr of Allah Azza wa Jal but as a father human being to see his children playing the other ones and this one has to sit and he's not involved in those activities and that's what makes him, you know, kind of sad. So let us put a smile on the man's face, bring in his heart, inshallah, some sakina. Make them warmer, make them happier by donating generously. Who wants to be the one to be responsible for getting this boy a good, strong wheelchair? Who wants to be the one to help him to get prosthetic legs, 250 pounds? Another issue is, being in this tent, I could clearly see this is one of those tents where the water is leaking. The water is leaking. So he has this responsibility, the dad, the father, of rectifying the tent as well. So we're looking for what? Someone to say, I'll provide a wheelchair. I'll help to get him prosthetic legs, inshallah. I'll help the man to fix up his tent. I'll help the man to feed his family to warm his family, 250 pounds for taking care of his family for the next five months, 50 pounds if you want to take care of one Muslim, that would be sufficient, inshallah, azawajal. So we ask Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala, to make it easy for brother Abu Majid and for his son Majid and the rest of his family members. And as the Prophet said when he was asked, Ya Rasulullah, what is the ahab al-a'mad al-Allah? What does Allah love most? He told them, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for you to make idkhal of the surur on a believer. That you make someone who's a believer happy. May Allah accept it from us and from you. And may he help these people. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.